Well, more or less because I can't believe how much I've collected. I thought I would do a little video with my Zildjian collection. Um, this is taken forever and I have not spent nearly as much money as I could have because most of them were used. Um, but let's check it out. We're going to start with the big stuff. This one is 23 inch A Sweet Red. Amazing symbol. Really, really washy, but beautiful, beautiful ride symbol. And then, I just got this one and it needs cleaned up. That's a 22 vin Vintage A. It's got a little keyhole, but it still sounds good. I basically. I paid very little for it. <laughs> um, it sounds great and it matches my rest of my set, which you'll see in a second. Um, then I've got this monster of a symbol masterpiece. This is a Zildjian A swish knocker. It's got 20 rivets. It's got 18 rivets right now because two of them fell out, but it comes with 20. It sounds really, really cool. I got that because I became obsessed with it when I did jazz band in high school. This is the 21 inch version of the Sweet Ride. So I've got the 21 and the 23. I always wanted the 21 and I happened to come across both of them like around the same time. And I use these actually as my crashes most of the time. Um, so I'll use the 21 on the left, and I'll use 23 on the right, and then I will use this right here, which is a 20 inch uh, left side ride. Um, Peter Erskine helped design this, I think, or plays it at least. Um, right now I've got three rivets in it. Um, usually I don't do the rivets, I just play it dry, but it's, I've been kind of messing with it. So I'll use this as my ride, and I'll use the sweets as my crashes, which is an awesome setup. It's huge, and it's super fun to play. Um, geez, got a bunch of 18s. So this is an 18-inch um, ride, actually. Um, this was my grandpa's ride symbol. Um, it sounds really good, but it's really, really sharp. Very, very bright. I usually use it as a bottom hi-hat for my 18-inch hi-hat pair. Speaking of which, this is an 18-inch A thin, uh, medium thin crash that I use as the top for that hi-hat pair, which I installed rivets in, some of which have fallen out, um, but it makes a really awesome hi-hat. Sounds great together. Then I've got a busted to death, a custom prototype um, trash crash or whatever they call it, EFX. Um, I, I got this like super cheap because it has a billion cracks in it and I just use it for stacks to sound cool and sometimes as a hi-hat um, bottom or top if I feel froggy. Um, this one is, was my grandpa's crash. It's an 18 inch uh, vintage A. Um, a lot of 18 inch vintage A's around. They're like really popular size. This one's super washy, it sounds great. It's really thin. Um, pairs really well with all the other vintage A's. Um, and then this is another 18 inch vintage A ride that I just picked up the other day with that 22. 
sounds really good. It's got a really nice patina on it. Um, it's heavy. Um, it's a really different shape than the other one and a lot less bright, which is cool. And then that is all of the like large symbols. So I just picked up these recently. I actually bought one of them today. This is a K Dark uh, Thin Crash. Um, really light, glassy, beautiful sounding cymbal. Um, I haven't really been using it as a crash though. I've been using it as a hi-hat top and I just bought this today. Um, it's a vintage A, really, really heavy, must be a hi-hat bottom, um, 15 inch. And I've been pairing these together. They sound really good. Um, then I like big hats. <laughs> I also have my grandfather's set. 14 inch new beats um, these are beautiful bottom and then the top um, actually top and then bottom <laughs> um, they sound fantastic very very classic standard hat sound and then for fun I've also got spiral stacker that's a 12 inch that makes a great sizzle it's really fun to play with with stacks and then I've got a 10 inch Zildjian A Splash. It's a ton of stuff.